you know, we do have a, a, a very affluent community, a lot of big homes. And um, what I'd like to do is direct staff to create a sign-up sheet. So, you know, for individuals that would be willing to house migrant families. Um, and if there's people that would do that, God bless them. Um, so if we could raise, raise awareness in that way, um, I think we need to find out. I think we need to find out who would be willing to house migrant families. And uh, so that, that would be my new business. I'm, I'd be looking for you know, support from, from the dais. Any questions, discussion, happy to have that. Has anyone taken you up on the proposal? It's interesting. Uh, thanks for having me on, Stuart. Uh, it's interesting. Um, since I, I made the proposal, I haven't had a single person call me and say, hey, Josh, where's the list? Uh, is the list ready? Can I sign up for the list? I'd like to hmm. house some uh, non-U.S. citizens in my house. Hasn't happened. Uh, did you expect people to come forward uh, and, uh, and be generous, as most Americans are? Did you expect it? You know, Stuart, it, it was a little tongue-in-cheek. Um, maybe my deadpan plan uh, delivery was uh, a little too good. Uh, was I being a little provocative? Yes, um, but it's an honest question, and, I, and it's not just about, I mean, I, I live in Naperville, 30 miles outside of Chicago, wonderful time, I and mean, we're always ranked, you know, top in the country to raise a family, but aren't we seeing this in, in blue suburbs all over the country where in my, in my town, uh, we, we voted for Biden by 20 percentage points. And, 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 and you can drive around town and you actually see uh, the homes that advertise. They advertise with these signs in their, house, in, in their yards that say no human is illegal and love is love and compassion. And and oh. and my call, I, I'm giving them an opportunity to extol their virtue. And so you're Here's disappointed. A sign sheet. So you're disappointed by the result. I'm not surprised. I'm not okay. surprised that no one's no one's interested. So I, it is it is a challenge to individuals that voted for an open border policy. Uh, by the way, if you, if you get anybody who volunteers, let us know, and we'll put you back on the air and see how we do. Last week, we spoke to a councilman in Illinois who called on wealthy residents to open up their homes to migrants. Ashley, good morning to you. Are they reversing course? Good morning. Oh, yes, they are. The affluent suburb of Naperville, it's about 30 miles west of Chicago, decided to ditch that controversial migrant housing proposal. of origin, yeah. stuff like that. All, also all over the place. All over the place. Yeah. You know when they come into the U.S.? Why, can I ask you why you're asking these questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The center from Northwest Georgia. Yeah. And uh, not a big fan of human trafficking. Just want to make sure oh, everything's yeah. above board here. Yeah, so these are just uh, do recently documented travelers getting released from ICE, getting to where they need to be. Yeah. So you're, you're for a company of volunteers. Yeah. Team Liberty. Yeah. Okay. Is that a uh, is that a non government organization? What is that? Yeah. yeah. So you receive. How'd you get the job? I'm a volunteer. I mean, I just there's people that they get dropped off here from my detention with no help. So we just. Yeah. Sounds good, man. Care if we? Uh, good? Yeah, you care if I come in? Just take a little closer look. I mean, you can stand right there. I'm, I'm, okay. I don't know you that very. I don't know you very well either. So yeah, just let me, let me get a video. If you don't. Yeah. Uh, actually, you cannot get a video. No. no. You cannot get a video. No, you're not allowed. You're not allowed. No. You're done. Okay. It was a horrific attack and it was all caught on camera. Police ultimately put the surveillance video of that attack out to the public as well as pictures of the suspects, which they believe led to additional arrests.
Arrest after this video shows a group of men assaulting officers in Times Square. The incident taking place Saturday around 8.30 in the evening. According to police, officers tried to break up a disorderly group on West 42nd Street. When police tried to take the person dressed in yellow into custody, that's when things took a turn and the group began attacking the officers. Several people repeatedly punched and kicked the officers in the head and body. Police initially arrested four people and then a fifth person on Monday. They face charges including assault on a police officer, gang assault and disorderly conduct. According to the New York Post, those who were arrested and charged are migrants who were then released without bail. Police also telling us that one of the individuals who was arrested is a 24 year old man by the name of Jorman Reverend, who was also arrested twice last year and he is facing robbery charges for those two incidents. This now on the phone is YG Nightstorm. He is participating in this convoy. He's also the executive director of the Church Militant and St. Michael's Media. Uh, YG, thank you. Um, I understand you guys aren't moving very quickly, but um, your destination is in sight. Tell me why you wanted to take part in this convoy. Well, first of all, good morning, Marty. Good morning to you and your wonderful staff. Thank you for having me on. But the reason why we're doing this um, is because this is about securing our border, yes, but it's also about evangelizing to our country. We have been divided for so long and it is just time now, and it's time for folks to get together for a purpose as, as important as this. And this is all about white, black, Jew, Gentile, Protestant, and Catholic coming together to evangelize and bring each other together. Now, unfortunately, with our president, Joe Biden, I say that he's been an absentee father for our country. He can protect everybody else and send resources to everybody else. But what about your family here at home? Charity begins at home, and we already know there are a lot of things that have been going on across our border, me being in protective services for 30 years and rescuing children from sex trafficking from across the border and around the world and in our own country. I understand the plight of people. But we also have to make sure that we take care of our own people at home and we can have better policies for people to be able to come over legally. But you just can't break into our home. We have to protect our house. And that's what this is about. Not only our Muslim communities, but African communities, Asian communities, Hispanic communities. And, and the wave still continues. It's not going to stop. Nor should we want it to stop. As a matter of fact, uh, um, it's one of the things I think we can be most proud of. There's a second thing in that black box, an unrelenting stream of immigration, nonstop, nonstop. Folks like me who were Caucasian of European descent for the first time in 2017 will be in an absolute minority in the United States of America, absolute minority, fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength.